Today I'll be talking about the importance of uh, building good relationship with the parents. Um, this presentation is based on my own experiences at uh, Davidson High School, as well as being a father. Um, I will start with sharing with you what I've done to build a relationship with the parents, and then, uh, and then the benefits of that. Uh, and finally, I'll give you some evidence, I will take it, evidence. Uh, now, what have I done? At the, at the beginning of the year, I sent an email to each class that I teach to the parents. And the email I sent is very specific, and it highlights the key goals of the year for the class. For example, with year seven, you see, at the beginning of the year, the parents and the teacher are very anxious about being at a new school. So the, the email I send is about reducing the anxiety of a student, get them ready to learn and be happy at school. And this kind of email instantly triggers the connection between parents and teachers, and then communication starts to flow. And then for every homework assigned to a student, I send an email to the parents, I have chapter soft copies so no dogs can eat this, the homework. <laughs> and then I, uh, I also send a solution as well. So for major homework, I ask the parents to hold on to the solution until the, the student completes the work, and then get the, student, get the students to mark it, and if possible, mark it with them, E7 and E8. And then, then they return the marked result back to me. I don't have to mark it. <laughs> Before exam, I provide tutorials, after school tutorials, and I send email to parents, I explain why it's so good to do that, and then I ask parents to encourage their students and support them. Uh, and when I got result, I call the parents at home, and I, I share, I congratulate the family about the student achievement, and also the improvement that I can see from certain students. They appreciate that greatly. And uh, another thing is I meet the parents uh, whenever they ask for. Now, a lot of benefits I can see from this kind of relationship. Uh, firstly, I can see that uh, there's more and better parents involved in the student learning activities, and that helps them uh, very much respond a lot better to the students' needs. And then I can see a lot of more of encouragement from the parents rather than just punishment on student or uh, on the student not achieving certain goals. They encourage the student to do better, to get the best out of them. And then of course improvement in parents school relationship. With the student, I see a lot more consistency in completing homework tasks, and this leads to you know fluent in the doing math as well as better results. And I can see as well improvement in self-esteem and confidence in students uh, in class uh, discussion. And also help with uh, self-discipline and it's help with behavior in classroom. This makes uh, classroom management a lot easier. And then I see that for a considerable number of students, learning has to become very self-directed and internalized. They're hungry for challenges. <coughs> Uh, for me, job start fashion, I changed my career to become a teacher. I make students happy and I'm happy with that. It also helped me meet the standard seven, which is required at the end of the second year for accreditation. <coughs> and I can see that there is the, the tr mutual trust and respect between parents, teacher and student. It looked like an equilateral triangle and eventually it turned into this. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then, important too, first year, second year, still teacher be aware, you will get complaints from the teacher, sorry, from the parents, and sometimes from the students. But this kind of communication, this kind of relationship helps reduce that. Right. And uh, <coughs> evidence. First one, this is the task that I gave my student last week on Monday night. I send them work and I send an email out to the parents. Half an hour later, I can see that at nine o'clock, I can see that the students started to log in. And then three days later, I checked for E7, 
21 out of 27 students already logged in, and then quite a few of them finished all the work that I gave them. This optional work for two weeks, they finished it in two, uh, three days. And I got emails from parents apologize for their students not doing homework because they're busy during holidays. And again, this is optional. I also have email from students apologize for not doing the optional work. Um, you know, when I did work for a student, I did a choice. I said, you have to do the minimum of column one of all the exercises. But, and then the, the thing I like about this one, the boy said, I will also cite my mom. <laughs> uh, I got email about this from uh, parents at the end of the year. I talked to students, and it's very much about they appreciate the, the work that uh, the relationship that we have. Uh, they said that the results are improve, should improve a lot, and they also think that Davidson High School is a great school. Uh, and I got this one from the, the principal. He, she said that uh, she thinks I did a great job. I'm going to be famous. Student survey. Uh, what motivates you to put effort into math? There's multiple choices, and the harder one is a written, um, written uh, answer. And I got it, Mr. Chan, my son. Uh, yeah, I think that's uh, the book. <laughs> Thank you.